So the special thing about this planet is that it orbits a very nearby, very small star. Both of those things are very important. Uh, the fact that the planet is nearby means that it's much easier for us to study. We detect more light from its star so we can learn more about the planet. And the fact that the star is very small is also important because the planet blocks a relatively larger fraction of its starlight. So taken together, what that means is that this planet is really our first opportunity to study the detailed properties of a rocky exoplanet outside our solar system. So we're doing a few things to try to study this planetary system already. One of those is we're looking at the star, just as, as it is right now, to see if there are any more planets orbiting around it. One of the things we've learned is that if the uh, star has one planet around it, it probably has more planets around it as well. So we're trying to see if there are any other planets around this star. The next thing we're trying to do is, is to try to make first steps towards studying this planet's atmosphere. There are some hypotheses that we can test about what this planet might be made of um, that we can start to probe with the Hubble Space Telescope. We've known for a few years now that planets are extremely common in our galaxy. There are billions of planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone. And the way I think about it is that those planets are like a library full of billions of books. But most of those books are so far away I'll never get to them. I'll never be able to, to open them up and read them. The planet that we just discovered, GJ1132b, is a planet that's close enough and orbiting a small enough star that we can actually study it in detail. We can actually take that book off of the shelf and open it up and start to read the, the detailed story of this world, even though it's around a very, a star that's outside our solar system.